What's up guys, welcome back. This is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today we're gonna be walking around a 1970 Coronet. Gonna be walking around this car, pointing out any kind of flaws that I find. I do this with every car up here at the lot and we also take test drives. So join us here on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. Also follow us on Facebook, Snapchat, TikTok, and Instagram. We post videos on that stuff every day. Try to mix it up, keep everything different and fresh. MapleMotors.com offers close to 100 detailed pictures. We got financing and shipping options available. We're gonna start up here in the front. The grill on this car is in great shape. Not really seeing any pitting popping up. You can see a little crack below the light here on the front. And guys, I'm not perfect. If I do miss anything, look at those detailed pictures on my website. There's two of us that go over the car, and in between the two of us, we'll probably end up getting everything. Electric fan on this one, aluminum radiator, power steering, 440 under the hood. It says it right here on the plate. Looking down the side of the car, I do see a little dent down there and some scratches in the middle. We're gonna make our way down there to check that out. There's a chip in the paint here and it looks like the front used to be blue. At least that front piece there. We'll look around the car for more evidence of that. You can see it's got some scratches and uh, the paint was kind of cracking down here. You see all the little cracks in the paint? Getting real close. There's a scratch right here and up here in the door. I'm gonna turn around and get my shadow out of here so y'all don't see it. Wonder what they hit. Must have been backing out of the garage. It took out the door. I'm gonna look at the bottom portion of the car and then we're gonna work our way back up to the middle. The bottom looks very straight. I'm not seeing a lot of rust. Not really seeing any bubbles coming through. Do got some pitting on the marker lights. The scratch goes all the way down the car in different spots. It looks like they got most of it out. You know, it feels like it's right on top of the paint, so I think that should buff out. A little bit of cracking in the paint there. Let's run back down the middle. Fairly straight. Door handles don't look too bad. They're not new though. Coming up the top portion of the car, you can see a little pitting around the vent windows. The seals look good. We're gonna check this vinyl top for any kind of bubbles. Usually what I do is I run my hand around the edges and look for any kind of bubbles popping up under the top. This one's got one right here. See that? Most of the time it'll pop up in the pillars and it uh, looks pretty good there. Running down the side here. And see it'll get it in these edges there's some right here a little bit of rust popping up under this vinyl top they're known for that there's some right here Let's see if i can get that see them bubbles that's why it's always on the edges you never really see them in the middle looks like it's it there's a little bit on this side coming back around to the back the back bumper looks pretty good dual exhaust Tail lights have a little bit of pitting popping up around both of them. Let's go ahead and check this trunk out. Trunk seal is fairly new. A little bit of surface rust popping up on the package tray. It's not rusted out, but it is a 70 model. So. The panels are in great shape. Let's pull this mat, see what they did. I'm just gonna throw it out of the car. Looks like you got a, uh, a mat shield in here. A little bit of moisture up under it, so it is leaking a little bit. But it looks fairly solid. Looks like you get the air shocks. Looks 
All right, we've looked around the trunk. I'll put that back in here in a minute. We'll go ahead and shut this lid down. Shut's fairly easy. Got a big old wang. <laughs> Coming across the trunk there. Looks straight, solid, the lines look good. We're gonna look around the top again. What's wrong over there? <laughs> it's a good Tuesday morning, man. <laughs> the trim. It's trying to pop up there. Let's see if I can get it. Here we go. It's gonna pop back up, but it looks good for now. Checking the edges here. Little bubbles trying to pop up there. There's two. Coming on up. Check our pillars, check the front here. Yep, we got some more of them. One, two, three, and four. In the middle of our roof. Looks good. All right, we're gonna run across the bottom portion of the car here, and then we're gonna make our way back down the middle. Looking for any Bondo spots, areas that look like they've been worked or rust. Got some chips in the door down here. And guys, you're welcome to bring a maggot to the lot and check it out for yourself. Hey, little bug hanging out. Got some scratches right here. That stuff still looks like it's on top of the paint, so you get a buffer out, it should knock it off. All right, coming back down the middle. This side looks straight. Door handles in same condition as the other one. Good deal. Top portion here. Same thing. Trim around the vent windows, got pitting popping up on it. You can see it, but the seals look good. Front windshield's in good shape. They like this yellow, don't they? Look at that bee. Oh, he's gonna come back and get me. Somebody gonna get mad about that. <laughs> All right. We've worked our way around the car. Let's go ahead and sit in the interior and check it out. The seat looks pretty good. Back seat's not in bad shape. Package tray looks pretty good. Uh, our headliner back there, the back corner's not in perfect shape. You can see it. Same with the other side and those little back panels. But the headliner throughout the car looks nice. Looks pretty good. Checking out our door panel. Different shade of yellow. Panel looks pretty good. You can see where everybody kicks the door getting in and out. Weather stripping feels good, but it's got paint on it. Carpet's not bad, a little faded in some certain spots. Go ahead and place your best. You think the horn works on this one? Seems like up here at Maple Motors, 50% of our horns work. I don't know why. Probably because these are old cars. The dash in this one, it's in good shape. Had to market gauges, but temp gauge is broke. This car is cold, guys. The motor's cold. I just backed it right here. I didn't even run it down the road. Go ahead, start it up. I noticed there's some switches. This one's your electric fan. Um, there's another one down here. We'll leave it off and see if it still starts. It does. Oil pressure's up 75. Uh, we're going to have to put an aftermarket gauge in this car because this one's broke. So that's something you would have to do. Go ahead and try the radio. It works. Heater. 
fan. Come on now. I think our heater's out. I had to replace that. Wipers? They work. Looks like our alternator gauge is working. I hope the gas gauge is working. Everybody leaves them on E for us, so. Something we'll do on the test drive, we'll stop and get fuel. Ready for this horn? Y'all place your bets. It works, and it works good. It's got a good sound in exhaust. Motor's nice and quiet. All right, guys, let's lay the hood down, see how it lines up. Give you some undercarriage shots, then we're gonna hit the road. It's kind of funny there was a B on this. Yeah. I should have left him. It looks pretty good. All right, guys, I do have close to 100 detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. Definitely check that out. But for now, I'm going to give you some undercarriage shots, do my best. We're just going to peek up under the car all the way around and let you see what it looks like. Let's go. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching. Check out maplemotors.com for financing, shipping information, close to 100 detailed pictures, and all of our inventory. We update that every Monday. I put full lot walkarounds here on YouTube. We also got Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. Appreciate y'all watching. Be looking for the test drive video of this car. All you have to do is type in the year, the model, Maple Motors into the YouTube search bar. Or just wait till the last 30 seconds of this video and I'll link them up. It should pop up right here at the end. You see it? Okay, click it. Thanks for watching.